Hello and welcome to the National Honey Show. This is our centenary year. But we're not all about bees and honey here, you know. We also have art and writing. And as you can see behind me, there is even a book stand, a children's book just about a bee. I'm here with the artist, Claire Murphy, who created this book with Valerie Renius. Claire, how did you get into art? Well, I've always been interested in art. My grandfather was a sculptor, uh, so I suppose I come from a creative family. It's in my genes. Oh, well, that's really lovely. What about books, though? You do art and you write books? Yes, books have been the constant in my life. Well, writing books and writing stories and writing poems, they've been the constant in my life. Uh, but books really hit off when I discovered a, an injured robin sitting on the floor outside probably mauled by a cat and I, because I've always been a wildlife lover uh, and saved animals throughout my life, little animals, I took him indoors and winter was approaching and he ended up staying indoors with me for six months. I got to know him quite well. Uh, I wondered what his life might be like when humans weren't watching him and that just triggered a lovely little story about a robin which was, ended up as six books that I wrote about him. That is the most adorable story. And I can see here you also have the Izzy Lizzy Busy Bee book. Yes. Can you tell me about that? How did it start? Well, first of all, this is a brand new book launched yesterday. Uh, it's a book uh, started through the Bee Show. I've been coming here for several years and Valerie Renius, the secretary to the Honey Show, to the National Honey Show, contacted me for, before Christmas last year and asked if I would like to illustrate a good idea for a book she had. Well, I read through the idea and I absolutely loved it. And I thought this is just the kind of book I would adore illustrating. So several months later, sketching different ideas, running through different ideas for the story, putting it into ideas for verse and, and the reality of the bee's life, we finished this book. And it's a book in verse for children and it follows a bee's foraging uh, explorations across the countryside uh, with a lot of little mishaps, near mishaps along the way. So it's quite interesting for young children and rather educational as well. Well, that sounds very exciting. Claire, please could I read the first verse? I would love you to read the first verse. Izzy Lizzy Busy Bee, tucked away where none can see guarding hive and queen and stores till springtime sun when off she soars but i won't read you the rest now you can come and find out what happens to izzy lizzy busy bee throughout the day at book readings and there'll also be book signings as well so be sure to get your copies claire it's been lovely to meet you and you also have a workshop later as well what oh, yes. is the, what is that about that's how to draw or paint a bee. So anyone interested in drawing bees today can come along for a, a couple of hours of peaceful bee drawing and painting. Well, that sounds very exciting. And be sure to check out the book's website, saffronwildlifestudio.co.uk. And it's been absolutely lovely to meet you, Claire. Lovely Thank you very you. much. Thank you.